Here we go. And all those guys are going to be like, who is that girl? <laughs> all right. We're at Grog's Green Barn today. And we have our resident seed planting expert, Jessica, here. Hey, Jessica. Hi there. How's it going? What are you doing? I am planting some baby bok choy seeds today, um, among some other things. But uh, we're just. Well, let's imagine that um, I don't know a thing about planting seeds. What would be the first thing you would tell someone? Read the directions. <laughs> when you buy seed packets, um, they're going to have all the information that you need as far as planting depth, spacing. Let's take a look um, at that. We carry botanical interest seeds here, and I really like them because they have a wealth of information on the inside cover. Um, all kinds of things about how to plant it, its background, uh, botanical classification, and it also gives you little tips on how to use it in your landscape or in the kitchen. Um, and it also has a little picture of the seedling, so you know when it pops up, okay, that's what it's supposed to look like because they wow. look a little weird at first. Well, tell me a little bit about what you got going on here. I see these packages sitting on something. What's Is that a heat lamp or a heat mat of some sort? This is a heat mat, um, the, a seed heat mat. You can get them in all different shapes and sizes. Uh, this this is like a 12 foot long one. Um, it has a temperature control on it there, so when you stick the thermostat in the soil medium, it will heat up or cool down based on um, how hot or cold that medium is. Okay. Um, and most seeds germinate at optimal temperatures anywhere from 65 to 75. Some of the warmer crops like it upwards of 90 degrees or so. Um, it just helps to improve germination. You get a faster germination rate, more uniform germination. Um, when you have that heat applied to the bottom. Okay. Um, what kind of soil did you use today? We used a Fafford organic potting mix. Um, it's a nice lightweight. Uh, you don't want anything too dense with the seedlings because uh, they need it nice and loose so that they can get up out of the soil easy and so that their roots can become established. Um, so and we have that here. Uh, other good ones to use, anything Fox Farm or Happy Frog is great for seed starting. And um, also Ladybug brand makes a actual seed germinator mix um, that we uh, carry here in, great. The, in the season. Mm -hmm. So you get your soil in. I saw you over here earlier with uh, a big pot of something underneath and you just put the soil in the little, I guess the little grooves or the little packets and then you're planting the seeds right now. Yep. Following the directions carefully as you suggested. Yep. You, you mentioned that you sometimes wet your, your soil first. Mm -hmm. I like to go ahead and after I have my soil loaded, um, wet it down and that's just going to help uh, stick this, you can stick the seeds in easier that way. Um, if you're doing it outside, it helps to keep it from blowing everywhere. And also if you're planting something that has a really tiny seed on it, um, if the soil's dry and you have the seed on and then you try and water it, um, they tend to float around and they can get a little bit lost. So this kind of just helps to keep, keep everything in place as you're planting. Okay. Um, it's, you don't have to do it, it's kind of a personal thing, but it's, all, it's how I learned and how I've always done it. So. Um, is that a special tool you're using to poke those seeds in? It is. This is my handy dandy wood chip. <laughs> <laughs> We're very fancy here and I just use the tip of it to help me poke the seed down as far as I need to. Um, you don't need any fancy tools for that. Just a little twig or stick works just awesome. fine. Great. And so just follow the directions, use good soil and keep them warm and then enjoy. Anything else you want to add? Um, if you are interested in any kind of seed classes or any information on that, we do free classes here on Saturdays. You can go to our website at grogsgreenbarn.com if you're not there already watching this video. And uh, you can find out what we're going to have coming up. They're free to the public, so just come as you are and we'll teach you everything we know. Great. Thank you. Thank you.